Hey guys, it's um, me again, Cole, and my boy Kenny, Fishing yeah, Magician. Hey. And um, we're just today we're going to show you um, tips and tricks on the fish finding experience. And the first thing I want to tell you is know where you're buying your fish. Not from PetSmart or Walmart. Okay. I know a lot of beginners to say, hey, yeah, they're cheap. But they it, come home, it, it, and they're half boy dead. They barely feed them, they don't do water changes. And when they put it in the tank, they call Walmart and said, my fish already died. Right. They really don't know what they're doing, guys. I mean, they're just employees from Mars because, like, all they do is feed them. I mean, that's it. So, what you want to do, even at your mom and pop store, which is where you should get them, look at the fish around the tank. Look at the water. Ask them how long they've and been there. If you don't get them, if they got them within three days, try not to get them because they're stressed. Try to ask them if they're chlorine. And if you don't know how to buy a fit, you can ask your uh, your local pet pet guy, and he'll tell you everything, cause that's their job. So don't be scared and just ask them. And then another thing is, okay. all right, know what you're gonna get. Ask them about. Do your do your research. Ask them if this is this guy gonna be good with my other fish. Okay. Ask them the size of the yeah. tank. Okay. Tropical or aggressive, semi-aggressive, like he got. A guard like a couple months ago. He did two years of research and now he just bought it today. A guard with an angelfish and it's pretty cool. So yeah. now we're going to show you a part of the fish buying experience. Okay, uh, get into bagging. The fish, bagging a fish and how to acclimate. Hey guys, we're here's an important step. Okay, if you want to return your fish or whatever. This here today is a sunset grimy. We're pretending that he's sick, alright? So, but he's actually not. Okay, he's gonna show you how to bag a fish. Alright, first, I mean, you don't need this. You can put it in a little, like, bottle water or bucket, but I'll just have this just in case. Remember, little water, lots of air. Because the air, there's no oxygen running, so you want as much air as possible. Sorry, getting a little wet everywhere. Alright, make sure he's nice and, like, doing well before, alright. So, what you wanna do is make sure you open a lot and just quick grab it. That's a nice grab. So you just gonna twist it, twist it until it has a long line. And that's how you bag a fish. Next, we're gonna show you how to acclimate them. Why? Okay, this is how you acclimate them. Got them in the bag, and I would suggest if you bring them home, ask them for a brown bag so they don't be stressed out. Okay? If you don't, it's okay. I'm just saying, it would be helpful. Stick them in the tank for about. 15, 15 to, 30 to 20 minutes. minutes, but I like to do 30 on special fish. Like angels, sit right there. You're gonna wait 15 at least. Okay? Okay, and um, now we're gonna show you what to do after you acclimate them. Alright, first you wanna take the thing out, make sure he's still okay, which he is. Then, a nice tip you get a one gallon bucket, you just cut the top off. If you don't have this, you can do a five gallon bucket. Whatever bucket you have, make sure it's clean and you cleaned it. Make sure there's no soap in there. Do not clean it with soap. Yeah. All right. So what you want to do is pour them in. Okay. And then. Let me tell you this. Never pour the dirty fish water Whoa. from the store in your tank. I cannot tell you. Pur Past much. experience. When I was a kid, I did not know about pH and all that thing, and I put, I just put, I just worked the bag, put it in. Do not do it. I lost thousands, like hundreds of dollars from doing that, and this is a great tip. So, um, actually, you don't want to use nets. Fish, he's already scared because he you doesn't know where. If you want to, if you're one of those people who don't like to touch the fish, but it's best to do it by hand. Hand. It's less stressful. And like the net will hurt their scales and fins, so just hold them like that, and make sure you just drop them in like that. Make sure your hands are clean. Thanks for watching. Up to another video, probably next week. Ask us questions, and, and we might put them in our next video. Thank remember, you. whoever subscribes, we will give you a shout out. First, For the 10 subscribers. Time. Once we get over a thousand plus subscribers, give you a shout out. Thank you.